Fresh water ecosystems such as swamps, marshlands, wetlands, rivers, and streams are home to thousands of different species. Among several others, this small flying insect can be seen near these fresh water sources. There might not be anyone who can claim that they haven't come across to this insect at least once in their lifetime. But the question is how much do we know about them? Why the conservation of this insect is a priority for the ecologists around the globe? What makes them so special? Immersed 100 million years before the dinosaurs, very skilled aerobatics and arguably the most lethal predator on the planet. These are the dragonflies. There are more than 7,000 different species of dragonflies found all over the world. Approximately 503 species of dragonflies are found in India. Presently, 120 species have been recorded in Assam, and according to researchers, there are many species yet to be discovered. Dragonflies prefer to live near water bodies, stream or river banks, pond, marshland, wetlands, are the main habitat of this species. Deeper Billion Assam is one such wetland which is home to more than 40 dragonfly species. The dragonflies we usually see have wingspans about 5 to 6 inches, but dragonflies used to be a lot bigger. Dragonflies emerged on Earth around 300 million years ago in the late Carboniferous period. Scientists have found fossils of dragonflies with wingspans of over 2 feet. These were the largest insects who once dominated the sky million years ago. These giants were called Meganeura. Meganeura is a close relative of today's dragonflies. Dragonflies belong to the insect order Odoneta and they show amphibian characteristics. These insects have two pairs of long narrow wings which are attached to its thorax. The hind wing is broader at the base than the forewings. The wings have veins and often clear or transparent. Dragonfly larvae breeds through gills underwater. Adults breed through the spiracles which are situated in their abdomen. Here we can clearly see the rhythmic movement of abdomen as the air is going in and out. Odonates lay their eggs in a wide range of aquatic habitats. Females select the egg-laying site mainly by physical characters such as the length of the shoreline. Newly immersed male and female odonates leave their emergent site and inhibit nearby landscape. Generally, males travel farther than females. Sexually measured dragonflies return to the breeding habitat from their foraging or roosting sites. In male odonates, genitalia are situated in the second segment of their abdomen, and in female, genitalia are situated in the last segment of abdomen. Mating pair of damselflies make a heart-like structure. Damselflies are the closest relatives of dragonflies which also fall into the order Odoneta. Damselflies are smaller in size than the dragonflies. Most species of damselflies fold their wings when at rest. Dragonflies are predators, both at larval and adult stages. Larvae are generally ambush predators. They wait for their prey to come close before striking it down. But adult dragonflies are way more sophisticated than their larvae. They are so skilled at hunting that their hunting accuracy is more than 90% and this is more than any species in the planet. Structure of their body and their special body fissures allow them to become one of the most successful hunters in the whole world.
Dragonflies can move their wings independently. Mature dragonflies are quick flyers. It can fly up to 30 miles per hour. Dragonflies are the highest migratory insect in the world. Wandering glider are known as dope skimmer because it crosses the mighty Indian Ocean while traveling between India and Africa. Apart from being a master flyer, fusion of dragonflies make them perfect predator. Dragonflies' giant eyes are a combination of hundreds of small eyes, which is called compound eye, and it is capable of 360 degree vision. Dragonflies have joint eyes, whereas damselflies have separate eyes. Dragonflies can identify color as we humans do. These physical characteristics help dragonflies to spot their prey instantly and hunt it down before the prey can even smell any kind of danger. Dragonflies prey on small insects such as flies, midges, and mosquitoes. Food habit of damsel fly is similar to the dragonflies. Nymphs are effective predator as the larvae of dragonflies. Adults are merciless predators such as their larger cousin dragonflies. Many bird species such as kingfishers, kites, flycatchers, herons, etc. eat different kinds of insects including dragonflies. This Indian pond heron is all set for hunting. He misses the first dragonfly. Now he has to be more careful. And finally, he succeeded. No matter how quick the dragonflies are, it still has to follow the law of nature. Though dragonflies found all over the world, but this magnificent species is at risk. Population and species diversity is declining across the globe. This is due to loss or destruction of their natural habitat. Destruction of wetlands, dumping of harmful waste in water bodies make these habitats unhealthy for dragonflies. These water bodies are crucial for the survival of dragonflies and damselflies. Another prime trait of dragonfly is climate change. Due to climate change, ocean current is changing. So does the rainfall pattern. This change in rainfall has a direct impact on streams, especially in the hill streams of Northeast India. This impact is so serious that most of the hill streams of Northeast almost dries up for several months of a year. Climate change also has a negative impact on the rate of deposition of ice in the Himalayas, which is the source of almost all major rivers of Northeast India. This micro effect of climate change is altering the habitats of odonates and can cause irreversible damage to the population and diversity of dragonfly and damselflies. If dragonflies are extinct from the face of Earth, it will be detrimental for the rest of the planet. Dragonflies are responsible for keeping mosquito population under control. On average, each dragonfly eats 30 to several hundreds of mosquitoes each day. Hence, dragonflies can surely claim the credit for pumping on the brakes in spreading of deadly diseases such as malaria, Japanese encephalitis, dengue, and many more. So let's take a moment to think what will happen if all the dragonflies vanish from the face of art. The answer is surely terrifying. But we still have time. We must act to protect this magnificent species before it's too late.